In this particular scenario, we're going to demonstrate the use of the moments of truth and cycle of service activity. If you'll turn to page five in the participant workbook, you'll see that the concept moment of truth and a circle are located on that page. Basically, moments of truth is another way of understanding the consumer's view of the service that we provide in our individual organizations. The term moments of truth was first coined by Jan Carlson in the early 1980s when he looked at Scandinavian Airlines, the organization he worked for, and said that they had an opportunity to consider the moments of truth when passengers have an opportunity to look at their organization and make a decision about the quality of the service they're receiving. It was what he defined as moments of truth in which each individual employee could manage the expectations and the relationship with the individual consumer. This concept is particularly relevant to all hospitality and tourism businesses, be it in lodging, restaurants, or even a retail store on a main street. Because our guests, our customers, in tourism have tremendous numbers of choices about where they go to visit, where they stay, where they dine, and what they tell people about their experiences. So we're going to break down a guest visit to our particular individual businesses using this concept of moments of truth. So on the bottom of page five, if you will look at this circle, what I would like you to do is draw 12 small lines around the circle. Starting at the top, think of a face clock where you have numbers on the clock. Where it's 12, put one line. One, two, three and around the circle. This means that I'm going to ask you to consider 12 individual moments of a truth that a customer, your customer, has with your organization. All right? To begin, let me give you a demonstration of what I mean. We'll do it together. And then I will have you work in teams of two to do it for your own organization. All right? So, if you think about a hotel setting, right? What is a customer's first moment of truth, the first contact they have with that business? It actually happens long before they arrive at the hotel. In today's business, when guests think about a destination, one of the first things they do is search online for where they're going and what their opportunities or options are for lodging establishments. So, their first moment of truth may in fact be the internet website, either for the individual hotel or lodging establishment, or one of those representative companies that represents many different hotels. So the information that you represent about your own business online is a first moment of truth for many of your guests. A second moment of truth may be what they hear from someone. They may visit online websites to read what other people have said about your lodging establishment. Or they may ask friends that have been to the destination. Those are moments of truth where they, even before they arrive, will make a decision as to whether they want to do business with you or not. Another moment of truth may be when they arrive in the destination. Does the taxi driver, does the information desk at the airport know about your property and tell people positive things about the hotel establishment when they're driving them there? They arrive at the hotel, they pull up, and their first impression is how it looks. Does it look welcoming to the guest? Do they have signs in more than one language, English, French, Arabic, Berber, are those represented in the front of the business that say, welcome, we want your business? Does it fit their image of what they anticipate they will experience in southern Morocco? When they walk in, we use all of our senses when we 
make decisions in moments of truth. So when they walk into the building, we use our smell, what we hear, what we sense in the environment to make decisions. So when they walk into the hotel, what's the first thing they hear? Do they hear other people talking positively about the destination? Do they hear music that fits the setting or are they hearing hard rock music that seems out of place? What do they smell? Does it smell good? Does it smell inviting? Notice that all of these moments of truth that I have suggested have not directly involved your employees in a one-to-one -one exchange. That's because service occurs in many different ways. Now the guest is inside the hotel and they walk up to the front desk. The moment of truth is how they're greeted. Are they welcomed? We're glad you're here with a big smile. The process of the paperwork of checking in, is it accurate? They go to the room, is it easy to locate the room? Is the room clean and well maintained? All of these are moments of truth and as you think through the experience, there are literally hundreds of moments of truth that a guest will have during a stay. So, with that example in mind, are there questions about the activity that I'm asking you to consider? All right, then what I would like you to do is make those hash marks on the circle on the bottom of page five and then turn to the person sitting either to your left or to your right and work together to identify moments of truth around the circle. You only have to identify 10 or 12. We'll give you a few minutes to do this. But think it through from before they arrive, during the visit, and remember, moments of truth happen after they leave. One of the most important moments of truth that a guest will have is when about 30 days later, they receive their bill from their credit card charge. Is it accurate? You want to make sure that you think through all of their cycle of service with your organization. All right, we'll give you two or three minutes to do this, to have a conversation, and then we'll come back together as a large group and discuss your examples.